Volney G. Matheson, also known by the pseudonym Dex Volney, August 13, 1897 to January 3, 1965, was an American chiropractor, writer, and inventor of the first e-meter used by the Church of Scientology. Topic: <laughs> Family In 1935, Matheson was married to Jean Darrell, a music librarian for NBC. She died in November 1964. Career Topic writer In 1921, Matheson wrote the fictional short story A Phony Phone, which was published in Radio News edited by Hugo Gernsback. In 1924, he wrote the fictional book The Radio Buster, being some of the adventures of Samuel Jones, deep sea wireless operator. The book is listed in American Fiction, 1901 1925, a bibliography. Matheson's story The Death Bottle was published in Weird Tales in March 1925. He also wrote stories which were published under the pseudonym of Dex Volney. His pieces as Dex Volney were of the western genre and set in Alaska. According to science fiction, The Gernsback Years, Matheson was a prolific author under this pseudonym. As Dex Volney, he wrote popular stories published by Street and Smith. In the June 1929 issue of Amazing Stories, Matheson's story The Mongolian's Ray appeared and was promoted on the cover. Forrest J. Ackerman and Brad Lineweaver write in the book Worlds of Tomorrow. In this story, he created the fictional device that shortly after the introduction of Dianetics, morphed into reality as the e-meter employed today to supposedly reveal the personalities of individuals interested in becoming clears in the Dianetic Regimen. Matheson's story Thor Olsen's Ace was selected for inclusion in the world's best short stories of 1930. Topic: Inventor. In 1935, Matheson was employed building shortwave radios. He was also a chiropractor and psychoanalyst. According to some critics of Scientology, Matheson designed and built the first e-meter in the 1940s, which he called a Matheson electropsychometer, or e-meter, to read electrodermal activity. However, Matheson wrote in his own book, Electropsychometry, that he first began considering the subject of e-meters when he attended a series of lectures in 1950 and other writers identify the lecturer as L. Ron Hubbard. The e-meter has a needle that swings back and forth across a scale when a patient holds onto two electrical contacts. He used the device to investigate the psychoanalytic problems of his patients. He then employed self-hypnosis tapes, and instructed his patients to use them to address those issues. The device became popular and was used among other chiropractors. John Freeman writes in Suppressed and Incredible Inventions. Recalling my visits at the height of his career, I remember that, while his results were outstanding, he was typically fought by the medical profession. The Matheson meter was based on the Wheatstone Bridge invented in 1833. Earlier electrodermal activity meters were used by Ivane Tarknishvili in 1889 and popularized by Carl Gustav Jung in a series of papers published in 1904. Matheson was a follower of Dianetics founded by L. Ron Hubbard. Hubbard incorporated Matheson's device into Scientology practices. Hubbard often called him simply, Matheson. In his writings, according to author Paulette Cooper, Scientologists erroneously referred to him as Olin Matheson. 
Simon Singh and Edzard Ernst write in Trick or Treatment that the E-meter was also widely used by the Church of Scientology, so much so that many Scientologists believe that it was invented by the founder L. Ron Hubbard. According to the 1986 memoirs of Hubbard's son, Ronald DeWolf, after establishing usage of the E-meter in Dianetics, Hubbard asked Matheson to give the patent rights to him, but Matheson refused to give up the patent rights, wishing that it remain the Matheson E-meter. Matheson was granted U.S. patent 2,684,670 for his vacuum tube E-meter in 1954. But DeWolf was inconsistent on this history. In an earlier sworn affidavit to the Federal District Court in about 1980, DeWolf stated that Matheson gave Hubbard his rights to the E-meter in 1952. Another writer tells yet a third version this history. According to Gordon Melton, the first E-meter was developed by Volney Matheson, following Hubbard's designs. Use of the E-meter in Dianetics practice was subsequently stopped by Hubbard in 1954. In 1966, Hubbard was awarded a United States patent for a solid-state E-meter, described as a device for measuring and indicating changes in resistance of a living body. According to some writers, Matheson was bitter and disillusioned about Scientology. Many of Matheson's professional activities and publications chiropractic, psychoanalysis, past life regression, and hypnotherapy have been classed as pseudosciences by various critics. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Topic. Fiction Matheson, Volney G. The Radio Buster, being some of the adventures of Samuel Jones, Deep Sea Wireless Operator. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Frederick A. Stokes Company. OCLC 6869013. Topic: Nonfiction. Volney, Dex. 1927. Beginning the story. In Hills, William Henry, Luce, Robert. The writer. P. 57. Volume 39. Hubbard, L. Ron, Matheson, Volney G. 1952. Electropsychometric Auditing, Operator's Manual, Dianetics and Scientology with Notes on Technique 100. Phoenix, Arizona, The Office of L. Ron Hubbard. Matheson, Volney G. 1952. Electropsychometry. V. G. Matheson. OCLC 57,001,177. Matheson, Volney G. 1953. Manual Electropsychometry. Matheson Electropsychometers. Matheson, Volney G. 1954. Creative Image Therapy. Matheson Electropsychometer. OCLC 55984760. Matheson, Volney G. 1956. How to Achieve Past Life Recalls. Quincy, Massachusetts, Institute of Physical and Mental Development. OCLC 42019616. Matheson, Volney G. 1956. The Secret of the Lauders Miracles Revealed. Los Angeles, California, Matheson Electropsychometers. OCLC 49324997. Matheson, Volney G. 
Practical self-hypnosis, how to achieve and effectively to use hypnosis without the presence of an operator. Matheson Electropsychometers. OCLC 54514206. Matheson, Volney G. Space Age Self-Hypnosis. Matheson, Volney G. The Secret Power of the Crystal Pendulum. Institute of Self-Hypnosis. See also List of chiropractors List of inventors